By creating solar studies for your project, you can quickly show the impact of natural light and shadows on the building model. This can help inform passive solar design and the effectiveness of shading devices. A solar study can be performed at any stage of the project from conceptual design through detailed modeling. Solar studies are best created in conjunction with a sun path. Open the 3D view named Solar Study. Enable the sun path from the view control bar and then set the date to June 21st and the time to 12 noon. Enable the display of shadows. On the view control bar, click the sun icon and select the sun settings. In the sun settings dialog box under the solar study area we can choose a still image, an animation of a single day, or a multi-day animation. By selecting from the presets we are also adjusting the sun path diagram. Select multi-day and note that a date and time range are available to choose from. The time interval allows us to choose from an hour, day, week, or month. Note that the default in this case in session multi-day affords us the ability to create a new preset using the Save Settings button. Select Single Day and the Summer Solstice Solar Study. Click the Duplicate icon and name this My Solar Study. By creating presets or using the defaults, we have control over the date and time range. We may also limit our selection from sunrise to sunset using the checkbox. The number of frames for animation is displayed and can be changed by setting the time interval. From our location of Boston, I will select sunrise to sunset and a time interval of 15 minutes. This will give us 61 frames. or the equivalent of about four seconds of animation. Typically, animations run between 15 and 30 frames per second. Click OK to close the dialog box. To create our solar study on the Revit application menu, choose Export, Images and Animations, Solar Study. The Length and Format dialog box allows us to select our output range. We can choose all 61 frames or a frame range starting from a particular frame and ending at a particular frame. We can choose the frame rate in frames per second. 15 is the default and we will leave that as is. The format area allows us to determine what the output will look like. We can choose a visual style and the same options are available as in the view properties. For this exercise I will choose hidden line and a fraction of the full percentage of the actual size to reduce processing time. Click OK to begin the Solar Study export. The Export Animated Solar Study dialog prompts us for a file name. Type Solar Study 1 and then click Save. We are asked to choose a video compression scheme. If you choose one of the default compression schemes, you will notice a configure option. Each compression algorithm has its own unique configuration options. We can also adjust the compression quality and for very long animations setting a keyframe may help with playback. Choose Microsoft and 90% and click OK. As the solar study is being exported you will notice the scene changing in your active view. 
When the progress bar goes away, the animation is fully exported. Open Windows Explorer to play back the animation. You will notice that the Sun diagram does not export to this animation, just the shadows. If you desire a longer animation and would like to see each frame distinctly, you could set the frame rate to 1.